Lesson four, affiliations. An affiliation is the relationship between HCPs and HCOs. Um, HCPs can be affiliated to other HCPs. HCPs can be affiliated to other HCOs. And HCOs can be affiliated to other HCOs. So it's basically a one-to-many relationship between all these individual entities. HCP to HCP is normally uh, healthcare providers interacting at the same healthcare organization. They're considered affiliated that way. Um, some other rules may apply in your specific company as to how they relate individuals and, and, and entities together, such as the primary specialty, things like that. An HCO to HCO is when you'll have an HCP may see patients at their private practice location as well as the local hospital. So now you have an affiliation between an HCP and an HCO, and an HCP can be affiliated to multiple HCOs. HCO to HCO is when you have like a parent company or a parent account that has sub-accounts, like the Mayo Clinic has locations throughout the U.S. Many of the university systems have hospitals throughout a city. So that's what the, the, the HCO to HCO comparison is. And here's just an easy way to break it down. So here, as an example, I have two HCPs, Dr. John Smith, Dr. Mary Jones. Dr. John Smith practices medicine at Avalon Hospital, the University Medical Center, and Mercy Hospital. Dr. Mary Jones practices medicine at Jones Private Practice, the Carter Clinic, and Mercy Hospital. So Dr. Smith and Dr. Jones are affiliated through Mercy Hospital because they are both practice medicine at that location. And again, practicing medicine may also entail doing research. It's not just visiting a having patients visit you at the location and, and, and treating patients, it could also be because you're doing research. And in this example, Dr. John Smith could be doing research at the University Medical Center. Affiliations are basically relationships, obviously. Um, and healthcare providers are affiliated to one another through healthcare organizations. So here's an example right now where you have your group of healthcare providers that uh, are, are so affiliated with the university and a hospital. And then you have other healthcare providers that are also affiliated with the university and the hospital. And due to this, they become, they have relationships to one another. And we'll explain why this is important right now. Because when you want to summarize your sales data and you want to look across and see the sphere of influence that these HCPs have, you want to be able to look at where they practice, who they practice with, and the relationships that they have. Because this is going to help you drive your sales through your pharmaceutical organization. Now, a lot of times you'll have one or two of these HCPs that's going to end up being your brand ambassador, meaning that they really, really like your product because of how well it's treating their patients and doctors talk all the time. So if doctors have similar patients and one patient is having a problem with the medication they're taking and the other doctor has a patient that has a, a great uh, a, a great experience with the brand that product they're taking, then the doctors talk and say, hey, why don't you try out this product from this company? It's working well with my patients. And that's how you kind of have a sphere of influence and you have a brand ambassador doctor that is also helping promote your product inadvertently, maybe, but still they're, they're, they're helping promote your product and get the word out. This is an example of a Salesforce automation customer relationship management application. And this is just basically an organization scorecard screenshot from that, from that application. I just wanted to point this out because this kind of points out the way things are related. So you'll see right now, we're looking at the Midtown Medical Center in Columbus, Georgia, right here, uh, the, the map of where it is. And you'll see that you have four healthcare providers listed here that are affiliated with the Midtown Medical Center. So you'll, their sphere of influence basically is Midtown Medical Center has a sphere of influence over these four individual HCPs. Not only that, but the HCPs are all related because of the Midtown Medical Center. They all practice medicine there. So if Ricardo Alvarez, the endocrinologist, has really takes a liking to your product or your brand, he may share that information with the other doctors that are at Midtown Medical Center because they work together in the same facility. So this is how you have a sphere of influence and affiliations are so important from that point of view because if you can, if you can get your HCPs to adopt and write prescriptions for your specific product, it really, really helps in the long run. I know I'm focused a lot right now on the sales associate side, but you're going to see how this all comes together with the data as we go on to more lessons. That is the end of lesson four. As mentioned previously, there will now be a 10-question quiz 
which will be the combination of the healthcare organization questions and the affiliation questions.